we're still in 360p Ooh, looks crispy oh, that's crispy let's check the current resolution and there we go 1080 okay guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to search the render resolution scale the saturation and the contrast code so first currently we are in dark mode because i'm recording so i'm going to use reverse nx rt to change it to handheld mode there we go okay now the first thing to do first thing to do is okay i'm going to face the wall so that it's not very graphics demanding okay um let's go to edison se and search for 720p u32 equals e720 let's go back to the game now we're going to use the in-game dynamic resolution to bring it down to the lowest possible resolution which is 576p okay 576p now in order to do that i'm going to underclock the gpu to the lowest and now there it is it, lo it looks 576p we're now we're going to search 576p 576 okay which one okay this this looks trustworthy what about the other one mm, nope the other one okay i'm going to try this last one i'm going to add it and type current resolution Okay, there it is current resolution now the next step is find the render resolution scale which which has four parts four codes okay the first code is a floating point float float 32 now the computation is now that we are in 576p we're going to divide it by 720 and equals 0 0.8 okay we are going next search next 0 0.8 0 0.8 load and then 0 0.8 go back to the game again and this time we're going to overclock the gpu back okay to make it 720p we are now back to 720p now 720 divided by 720 is 1 we're going to search 1 next still a lot of 
results let's down clock the GPU again to lowest for 576p 0 0.8 okay 0 0.8 Okay, here they are. Now I said before there are four parts, right? Well, these are the three. Okay, now this is the fourth. We also need to change these 720 and this 1280. Okay, now we we are going to try turn it to 360p okay so first off i'm going to add this first okay with the bookmark rest so um this is the height or let's type y y axis and this is the rest so X axis. There we go. We're going to also add this one. RRS one. This two RRS two. And this third RRS three. Bookmark. Okay, there they are now i'm going to turn it to 360p okay here we go um turn this to 360 640 there we go now the computation for this is 360 divided by 720 is 0.5 okay now Turn this 0 0.5 This two 0 0.5 And the third one 0 0.5 Now I'm going to freeze the holes It's just like a cheat code Activate the cheat code Same behavior Now I'm going to go Back and look at this okay i'm going to oc the gpu again and we are still in we are still in 360p which is good now next is let's try locking it to 720p even if we underclock the gpu okay i'm going to edit this to 720 and this 1280 and this to 1 1.0 or 1 1 1 and then one. Oh, by the way our current resolution it changed to 360 now let's go back and okay here we are 720p now i'm going to try underclocking it to see if it works oh okay Still 720p even though the GPU is under clock. Let's check the current resolution. There we go, 720. It works. Now the next thing I'm going to search is the saturation in the contrast code. Okay. I'm going to search them saturation and contrast code so basically how i find 
this too. I check the default values of Breath of the Wild from that game. Okay, so the default value goes like this. We set that U64 equals heat and in hex. So I'm going to type first the contrast default value which is 3F7D 70A4 next is the saturations default value which is 3F95 3F95 C28F E28 F search okay I think this is the one okay I'm going to add this this is the saturation let's add that wrong spelling I know and contrast this is the contrast contrast there we go okay now let's try editing the values if it does work u32 u32 there we go this is the saturation let's edit to oops okay. let's edit to 0.5 Float 32 0 0.5 okay there we go and see if the color will become pale okay let's go back to the game and there we go the saturation okay let's go back revert the value to 3F95 3F95 C28F Let's check the colors again and okay, it's back to normal. Next is the contrast. Let's try turning it to 1.5 and see what will happen. 1.5 Ooh, the color looks better man okay so that's how we find them now the resolution for dark mode the max resolution is 900p let's try let's try turning it to 1080p okay so first i'm going to use reverse and x again and change to dark mode there we go okay so let's check the current resolution okay it says 900 900 by 1600 Okay. now it's the calculation is accurate for 900p because 900 divided by 1080 is 0.833333 okay so the next thing we're gonna do is turn this to 1080 1080 and this one to 1920 1920 okay is that please and this to 1.0 or 1 1 oops I'm going to copy paste paste 
Okay, there we go. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Let's go back to the game and check. Ooh, looks crispy. Oh, that's crispy. Let's check the current resolution. And there we go, 1080. 1080, 1920. It works. 1080p works. Let's let's check the frame rate. Okay, 30. Looks nice. Now, as you can see, my frequencies are high because it's unsafe, unsafe mode for Arista Nintendo Switch V1. As you can see here. Then ATP. Oh, the lag. Okay. Let's do some in depth tests for 1080. I'm going to load my save data for skydiving, the first skydive experience. Okay, we are. Let's check again the resolution. Okay, 1080. Good. Here we go. Oh, it drops 20. Okay, temperature is rising, 20 FPS, hey 30 with the title screen, Okay guys, if you enjoyed the video, um, give a like, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.